Today we're going to do a comparison of the latest version of Cubic SDR, Cubic SDR version 0.27, to the latest version of SDR GLUT, version 1.28, uh, using a Blade RF Micro X5 processor. And so let's get started. We'll crank up uh, Cubic SDR and select the Blade RF. And we'll start out at uh, 15 mega samples per second. And there it's working nicely at 15 mega samples per second. Now we'll go to 23 mega samples per second. And you can see it won't go at 23 mega samples per second. You can hear the garbage. And so 15 mega samples, 15 mega samples per 15 mega samples per second is as much as cubic SDR will handle. And so we'll crank up SDR glut here. And uh, <clears throat> pick the uh, Blade RF, and we'll start at 15 mega, 1500 mega samples per second. And so it does 15 mega samples per second quite nicely. And so we'll just, uh, we'll skip to 30 mega samples per second on it. And you can see it's doing 30 mega samples per second quite nicely. And we'll go up to uh, 46 mega samples per second. And it's getting a little bit of a little bit of uh, droppage, so I have to increase the number of audio threads to to give it more processing power. And so now it's doing the 46 mega samples per second quite nicely. And we'll just go ahead and try the uh, 60 mega samples per second, 61 mega samples per second. And you can see it, it won't do the 61 mega samples per second. And so uh, there you are, the comparison is, is the Cubic SDR will run 15 mega samples per second, and the Cubic SDR, or uh, SDR GLUT, nicely does the 46 mega samples per second. So that's your comparison.